If you want to make the best looking JPEG, there are several things to consider. And in this part of our course, I'm gonna walk you through some of the options to pay attention to. Let's start though, by getting the right balance of file size. With the image selected, what you'll wanna do is choose File, Export. You'll find under Export 2 some presets here that you could use, but like email, which will automatically optimize the image as a JPEG and then send it ready to attach. I'm gonna stick with hard drive here though and choose what I'm going to do. It's gonna allow me to export to a folder, which is fine. I'm gonna tell it to write that and to keep the current settings here for renaming. Let's go here and edit that. And you see it's taking the file name and I added some custom text called optimized. You can also tweak this to modify the naming. I'm gonna to go to JPEG and play with the quality slider here. What's important is that we adjust this so it's set to somewhere between 50 and 80. This is gonna give you a good overall balance. Additionally, if your image is quite large, you're better off reducing it. Shrink it down by 50% exactly and tell it to sharpen for the screen. Now when I click export, the new JPEG is going to be created. There we go. And if we look at that file, it looks fantastic. We've got a nice reasonable file size, only 2.8 megabytes, good sharp edges and rich vibrant color. The key here is don't be afraid to bump up sharpening and pull down the quality. Those two things will work hand in hand to get the file size down while still keeping good sharp edge details.